have sent you the link and the username and password that you need to enter to access to enter your site or access your site so go to the URL up here wp-login place in your username and your password and then you'll log into the dashboard so this website has a fantastic content management system to use I know it all looks very complicated when you see the dashboard here but ignore that for now we'll remove the wp-admin I like to work from the control bars at the top here in black so when you're logged in that's what you have uh, now I'm not going to worry about the home page now I know that some of the images need to be fixed on the slider as well as um, changed here on the scroll bar but for now it's Sally and Dave's wedding that I'm still building up on so I've been pretty much literally going into this um, manually to um, add all the images so I'll go through it the slow and tedious way so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So if we go to um, edit item which is edit the page you'll see Dave and Sally's we Dave and Sally wedding I might do that spelt out as a n d as opposed to the ampersand uh, an update And here I've got, uh, this is how you make the changes in the content area on the right hand side. Try not to affect the code here, but I'll call the client um, Dave and Dave, actually I'll start it with a bride, Sally and Dave's wedding day and the task will place it as a full day wedding photography in Sydney of my uh, full day wedding photography in Sydney I think that's adequate and I'll wait till you give me the information here I'll place it um, the, I'll just call it uh, the great story of the day and I'll leave the rest of it as is for now and I'll update that update is how you save what you do on the page if you don't update it or save it then it'll just revert back to what it was and your changes will be missed so if we scroll down here you'll see this is the add edit project media so this is Dave and Sally's wedding gallery as it is at the moment that I've added in so what I'll do is I'll go to um, Photoshop and choose I think I may have already added this in I'll just double check it so I'll go to wedding photography in Sydney Sally and Dave's wedding and I'll just check to see whether no I haven't added them in yet so I'll copy this image here and this is the 
Oh my, Photoshop's doing something for the moment. Okay, I'll copy that and Banjo Patterson Cottage Wedding. So I'll call it that now. And that way it's just got um, dash Dave and Sally JPEG. So I'll place that on the desktop for the moment. Um, when you go to the image size, you'll see it's 787 pixels wide. At the moment it's 559 high and I've got the resolution at 200 which is appropriate for the WordPress file. We don't want to make it too large. So, oh, I've lost the pasted version. So I'll go to there. I'll select the image again. I'll copy it and paste it and free transform as it's quite large. I use Photoshop, this is just what I'm familiar with and the way I like to um, manage images but I'm sure that being photographers, you would have probably uh, better and quicker tools than this to use. But nonetheless, I'm taking you through the process. So, that way we've got a nice shot here. And free transform, I'll just there. That's better. And I'll quit that and um, flatten the image and save it as a JPEG. So it's Banjo Patterson Cottage Wedding. Okay, so oh, silly me. It is something I've already I've already done. So I'll get another image and I'll go to the old site and choose an image I probably don't have, which would be maybe something like that one. So this is nice and big so I'll screen grab that. And I'm referring to the old site because it's got a, the way um, Angela's positioned it, it's a good chronology and order of the events of the day. So you'll find some images that have been supplied by the client and then you'll find other images here that have not been supplied by the client. But it would be preferable to add um, all of these images in so we have a detailed account of the story and it's a really good compilation of her work. Uh, so as I've captured the screen grab I'll just go to open and that's the screen grab I've captured that's sitting on the desktop. So I'll copy that, edit, paste. It almost fits in, so I'll just uh, free transform to position it so that it works well. There. Apply. And the canvas size has altered, so I'll just bring it down to 6.8. Should do the trick. A bit more canvas size. 6.6. .6. Okay, and we've got it. So I'll flatten that image, save it, and we'll go to 
the main site. So we'll go select or upload image and we are in the image gallery. So I want to add to the gallery, upload file, select file and on my desktop I will see Banjo, Banjo Patterson Cottage, that's the one I just worked on. We'll open that. Now this is quite important here. When you upload it, you'll find this will be the title. We'll copy, select all and copy and paste it into the alt tag. But you want to remove it from the title because what happens is if you don't, it will appear on the image. And there is one image on Dave and Sally's wedding that has the title on it. Um, so this is how easy it is to remove it. I just haven't gone back to do that just yet. So you always want it in the alt text because the alt text talks to the Google bots. Now this is only just one little tiny feature of the many, many different things I do on your site that um, makes um, that enhances the search engine optimization. This is just a tiny fragment. So we add that to the gallery and insert gallery. And there you go. You'll find it's inserted here and we'll go back up the top here on the right update and the way I like to check it is I'll go to another tab I'll go back to the website go to Weddings, Sally and Dave's wedding. And scroll down. And there we have it. The picture we've just added. And um, there. So you can see how it's building up and how great it will be to flick through all the images. So it's um, a really nice feature. It's all fully responsive uh, and this is what you need to do to continue to add the images and I think there's probably another 15 or 20 and yeah when you hover over it you'll have the name of the image so that's important to um, have. Most people won't hover over it but it's actually good to have that there. So that's how you add the images to each page. I will be testing Eva and Howard's wedding because at the moment it's just a duplication of Sally and Dave's wedding with the images and I want to make sure that when I change this image it doesn't affect Dave and Sally's page so let me test that because I might need to get the I might need to get the developers to correct it so that they're not linked up they are definitely very two different portfolios so I hope you found this video very useful and um, that's how you add the images to the wedding sections. So there's quite a few more to go and, uh, and we'll get there with building up as many as possible on the new site. So I hope you found this useful and uh, always happy to help you with more uh, search engine optimization or web development. And you just need to visit my site at uh, Web Design in Sydney and when you get here you know it's my site and you can always um, add your name and email to download the free ebook that I've written and a little video showing you the psychology of sales with the websites that's been tested by uh, various doctors in the US and um, you'll find this site very comprehensive showing you all the services I offer and um, very soon I too will be in the position of upgrading my website. So thanks for watching and I shall speak with you soon or otherwise just give me a call on 95696580 or email me on the contact us form on the contact us page. Thank you.